hi welcome back to pink or tarot my name is z if you are new here welcome to the channel thank you guys so much for subscribing and supporting this channel as well as greatly appreciated so as you can tell by the title it's a general love read for aquarius i hope that it resonates with you guys but unfortunately it won't apply to everyone that's totally fine if it is not it's okay um but i do offer personal reads if you are interested in one currently i'm still having the sale on my um spread reads i do offer so they are currently 30 dollars. you can get a current energy reading a finances and career read a singles love reading if you are single single um specific person love reading if you're dealing with someone you could just be unsure about the person or like the connection um that's a really good read to get if you're like dealing with someone and you just like unsure it'll definitely let you know what's going on okay but yeah, you can use the link to my website to submit your info and then I will respond back to you. Um, or you can just simply email me. Just send me an email. Let me know which reading you would like. Um, and yeah, I will respond back. So yeah, let's see what's going on here with Aquarius. Of course, I'm going to start off with the Romance Angels card, y'all. But I do have my Love Oracle deck that I made and I'm going to use that in the read. So yeah. What messages do you have for Aquarius for October? And I'm doing it for October, but this could have already happened for someone. Could be currently going on or could happen after this video. Like after you see the video, it could happen. So yeah, let's see. What messages do you have for Aquarius? Okay, so we got soulmate now. It says, yes, this is your soulmate, y'all, but it's a general read, so do not take this serious, because I cannot sit here and tell y'all, yes, like, it's a soulmate. I'm not going to do that, um, but let's get another one. What other messages do you have for Aquarius? Okay, so we got healing family issues that showed up. Healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So now this could be the mother or father um, of your children here with this healing family issues. It seems like they could be a soulmate for someone, y'all. But it does show where um, some family issues need to be healed. There could also be an issue going on with like finances and career as well. What other messages do you have for Aquarius for October, please? What messages do you have for Aquarius for October? Okay, so we got retreat. So yeah, uh, for some people, now this could be the mother or father of your child. If not, someone definitely has some like childhood issues, y'all, that they are needing to heal. It's like maybe they are needing to um forgive a parent and it could also be like a family member too for someone but it does show where there's like a disconnection between you and, a, and another person Aquarius so we also have give your relationship a chance that showed up here at the bottom it does say work on your partnership so that could definitely be why the finances and career card showed up but give your relationship a chance so you you guys could definitely be wanting to work on a partnership here with a person that could possibly be a soulmate for someone y'all and you guys are just like disconnected yeah look very soon so it's definitely someone that you've known before too because we got past like relationship that showed up very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now so for some of you guys um now this could be you Aquarius or the other person that you're dealing with whoever you disconnected from and, and if this is resonating with you if you are single y'all this will not resonate with you like <laughs> it just won't because this is someone that Aquarius could be disconnected from like y'all could be not speaking but it does show where very soon either you Aquarius or the other person are needing to decide if they want if you guys want to basically work things out like almost like a second chance type of thing so I'm gonna use my love oracle deck it's called the unconventional love oracle deck you brought you guys probably have seen this deck here on my channel but it's a deck that I created um so let's see clarify soulmate for Aquarius clarify soulmate 
Oh, wow. So we got the grass was not the grass wasn't greener. So it does show where, hey, I do feel like maybe either you will see sometimes the um, car is be telling on the sign who to read it for. But if you cross watching too, somebody tried, like they wanted to see what was on the other side, y'all. They found out it was not greener, greener. This is a soulmate. It could have definitely hurt you that, you know, maybe they, um, they could have definitely been dealing with like another person, y'all. That's what it seems like because it does show where there was some trauma, like somebody got hurt in a situation. But it does look like they could be wanting to heal this issue. Now, um, let's see what else shows up here. We're going to do healing family issues. Clarify healing family issues. Clarify healing family issues for Aquarius P. Oh, y'all, this... <laughs> So we got eight night that showed up. Okay, now they want to heal some things. Now they they trying to take somebody out on a date. They want to have a conversation too. It's almost like two people sitting at a restaurant. Like yeah, two people sitting at a restaurant talking things out, like trying to figure out what like what's the next steps that type of thing. Because look, we got deep combos that showed up here. Let's clarify retreat. Clarify retreat for Aquarius. Oh, so deep combos wanted to pop out. Now, there's the money involved in the situation, y'all. So just take that however it resonates. I mean, and I don't feel like someone works with the person. But there's like money involved in a situation. Especially if it's like a family issue. That's what it seems like. Like money is tied to... Um, this situation between Aquarius and another person. But yeah, deep combo showed up. So it does look like there's gonna be communication showing up here for um from someone that you are disconnected from. Clarify very soon for Aquarius. Ooh. Y'all, this is like a whole little it's about to turn into a soap opera, okay? But leftovers, yeah, see what the grass wasn't greener showing up first. If this is a person that you were dealing with, y'all, and it's like this could be the mother or father of your child, they stepped outside of the relationship, basically. They stepped outside, okay? And they trying to come back in, but it's like if you take them back, you are receiving leftovers, okay? And look, my intuition... Yeah, something's something's going on with money. So I'm not really sure if they um now they could have been dealing with someone at the job too, y'all. But it seemed like work, like someone's work or career, is involved in a situation. But the intuition card showed up at the bottom of the deck, so it's letting you know. Um, it's like whatever decision you could be needing to make, y'all. It's like go ahead and make it very soon. But your intuition is telling you, like you know. This is leftovers. I don't deserve this. Like, you really want me to finish this? What is a leftovers card? But I do feel like someone is, like, going out to dinner, y'all. It's, like, two people sitting at a table, um, like, eating dinner, talking, having a deep conversation about what happened and how they could, they, um... Either you or the other person, Aquarius, is wanting to, like, work on a relationship or, like, give it a chance. Cause it's almost like it's hanging by a, like a string. Um, let's see what's going on here. Um, clarify the grass wasn't greener. Uh-oh. Clarify the grass wasn't greener for Aquarius, please. So we got the page of wands. So yeah, it looks like for some people, y'all, you're going to be getting some type of message here. It's almost like somebody wants another um, another chance. But look, we got the tower card that showed up. So it's like you had a tower moment with this person. Like the truth was revealed about this person. Like 
No, with the sour card showing up. And, okay, so I'm going to just be clear, too, about this soulmate card, y'all. So, a soulmate could be a friend, a family member. It could also be romantic, too. But that does not mean that if you find out the person is your soulmate, it does not mean that you have to spend the rest of your life with the person. Like, it doesn't mean, like, that's your person, if you get what I'm saying. So, just um, use your intuition here about this person. It's like, yeah, they a soulmate, but I mean, if you are want to work things out, then do so. But it's letting you know that, hey, some truth was revealed here about this person. And with this leftovers card showing up here, it just looks very, like, it's kind of messy. Like, uh-uh. It's like someone stepped outside the relationship and then now they want to come back to fix things. So it's like technically that's you receiving leftovers. That's exactly what that is. And especially if you had a child with that person too. Uh -uh. Tell me about date nights for Aquarius. Oh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> so, we got the Queen of Wands that showed up. Someone could be dealing with the fire sign, y'all. But, no, I just feel like, um, so the Queen of Wands showed up here. This is, like, someone who's, like, very attractive. But the masculine energy is showing up here. It's, like, the Knight of Pentacles. They're coming in. It's, like, this is the offer here. They trying to take the Queen of Wands out on a date. Like, they trying to have date night. And this, I feel like this is when they're going to, like, say, hey, I want to work things out. I just heard a noise. But anyway. Clarify this Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, so we have the Nine of Wands that showed up here. So I do feel like this is you, Aquarius. Like, your energy that's showing up. See, this person hurt you. So it's like you could definitely be kind of like defensive here too about the situation. And I do feel like they're um, like, you know, one energy, like you could definitely be like kind of tired about the situation. Tell me about the combos for Aquarius, please. So, it's letting you know, Aquarius, like, you have a choice. So, it's like, you don't have to give back into this situation, y'all. Um, especially if you have been hurt. Like, I'm not saying go back to someone that hurt you now. I don't know the whole situation. I don't know the details. But, um, with temperance showing up here, it does look like somebody wants to heal. They want to compromise, um, in this situation with temperance showing up so it's like they want to heal things out they want to have a conversation and you can choose to have this conversation or not clarify leftovers mm, we got the moon yeah see it's saying use your intuition here because it looks like you're needing to decide very soon. Because it's almost like you need to go ahead and squash this. Because, look, y'all got new love that's showing up. But also, too, I see where this could definitely be like a renewal as well for someone. Tell me more about leftovers here for Aquarius, please. Yeah, you overcame this situation, y'all. We got the strength card that showed up. Tell me more. So we got the Queen of Pentacles. Someone could be done with the Earth sign, but I feel like it's like this mother energy with this Queen of Pentacles. So it could be the mother of someone's child, y'all. Because I look at the Queen of Pentacles as like a mother. Even the Empress is like a mother too, but I see like the Queen of Pentacles as like a mother with a child. Like as a pentacle. That's how I see it too. But yeah, that's what it looks like here. This is, yeah, this is someone that you have, um, like, an emotional bond to. And it looks like it could be a soulmate for someone, y'all. But it doesn't mean, like, 
you have to spend the rest of your life with this person. Uh-oh. Oh, we got a ten of wands that showed up, y'all. So I do feel like this is definitely stressing someone out, y'all. And it's in regards to you um, giving back into the situation. It's almost like it's too risky for someone to give back into the situation, y'all. The way it's showing up, it's like you're receiving leftovers. Like, no. It's almost like by you receiving leftovers, like you're not really understanding your worth. Like, that's what it looks like. Because somebody definitely stepped outside of the relationship. Yeah, three of pentacles. Somebody wants to fix things here. And we got the death card that showed up. So it does look like, hey, you had an ending with this person or like you broke up with them. Um, but then it's like they could be wanting like a new beginning. But it does look like, um, let me see real quick. Tell me about very soon. I feel like you guys are needing to be patient here and wait for you yeah, for new love to a sort. So maybe you do need time to think here or make a decision, but go ahead and do it. But take the blindfolds off, y'all. Use your intuition here. Because it does look like someone could definitely be, um, it's almost like you could definitely be in this form of like protecting yourself too, like protecting your heart, like keeping to yourself with this four of pentacles. Because look, this was like painful. You had a painful ending with this person. It's too risky for someone to like go back to this, y'all. Um, let me pull some additional oracle cards. I forgot the name of this deck, y'all, but it's like Angel, Angels of Love. It's like a love oracle deck. And I got it from off of Amazon, if y'all wondering. But this is what it looked like. Okay. What message is here for Aquarius for this spread, please? Okay, thank you. Yeah, honesty is essential. Wow, someone was wearing a mask, y'all. But it's like they've been wearing it the whole time. And you could definitely still have love for this person too, y'all. But honesty is essential. Yeah, you know, they could definitely speak their truth, but it's like you already found out the truth about them. And it's almost as if like maybe you turned your back on them too. But it says speak with love and truth. Let's get another one. Give me another one here. For Aquarius. Know why this feel like some type of soap opera y'all like i swear and then this card showing up he has like a mask on right here and it's like one that you see like in a soap opera like those dramatic like <laughs> it's like what in the world <laughs> give me another one here for aquarius Give me one more in here for a query so we can close out this read. Give me one more message for Aquarius, please. Okay, thank you. Love endears. I feel like you somebody put up way too much for this situation, especially with that ten of wands showing up here. It's like you endure you endured a lot. I'm probably saying it wrong, but I was saying it right in my head. But <laughs> You endeared a lot. Like, you overcame a lot with this person, y'all. They put you through a lot. Love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation. Now, y'all, I was just watching a show. It's this show called Sisters on, like, Prime Video, y'all. Now, depending on what the person put you through, now, it's your choice now on whether or not you want to give up or lose faith in this person, y'all. But it's only but so much that somebody can take, like, as one person can take. And it's like, really, you have to ask yourself, like, is this really worth it? That type of thing. Because, like, with my car leftover showing up here, it's like, no. To me, that's a no. But I can't make decisions for, for anyone here. I can only give like advice or like, you know, my insight on it. But yeah, it's like you you endured a lot with this person. You be, like, 
it's almost like somebody was like they're ride or die but then they ended up stepping outside of a relationship and it's like wow and you could have definitely took them back um at some point <sighs> let's see And you could definitely feel like this is real love too, but because this card, the only thing that is real is love. Shift your focus back to love. Let's get one more. I just, I'm just curious to see what else is going to come up. I feel like this relationship for some of y'all, this connection is like too much because like the Ten of Wands, no. Like you're doing too much and you need to put this down or like let it go. They're coming in with some type of gift, y'all. Express express the love through gifts, but that look, a gift ain't gonna um patch everything up. They're coming in with something tangible though. Look, because the Knight of Pentacles had showed up and it's a pentacle so it's something tangible so it does say a small token of love can convey great appreciation but it doesn't mean that like just because somebody coming in here with a gift or like some money or something that you can accept it back it's like really no so you guys are definitely need to make a choice here about um this reconnection with a person that could have stepped outside of the relationship um, and hurt you. So I'm going to leave it here. I hope that it was helpful to you guys. Of course, you can leave a comment below. Give the video a thumbs up if you found it helpful or insightful. If you are new here, feel free to subscribe as well.